Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Trey Lewis. Just know that it pays off in the end. 
if you uh, continue going after it. Um, another thing I wanted to say was just to, you know, always chase your dream. Like I said, my dream is obviously to play in the NBA, and I'm never going to give up on that. And that's something that I still want to do to this day. And like I said, there's different detours and different things in your life, and you have to be open to them. And like I said, coming over here has been a great experience for me. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, so you have to, to always never give up on your dream, though. So whatever, whatever thing, like I said, you have to be passionate about something. You have to realize what, what you're gifted in. Go after everything you have and, and never give up on it. Um, but another thing is you have to make you know, wise decisions along the way. So uh, a, a big advice I can give to a lot of people out there aspiring, you know, different businesses or what, what you want to do with your life, always go somewhere where you're wanted. You know, um, I had an opportunity to go to different teams, but uh, Coach expressed a lot of care and, um, and she showed, he showed that he wanted me to be a part of this team. And so I could have went other places, but I don't know if they would have uh, embraced me if I been embraced here. And so always, that's something to always remember, just go where you're wanted, um, go where you'll be celebrated. And I can't lie that this has been an amazing experience. So I'm, I'm very grateful for him, first of all, reaching out to me and uh, allowing me to be here. Um, a few other things I wanted to say was, uh, Coach also talks about investing. He, he, every day he speaks to us about investing. What we invest in, um, is, and that's what we're going to reap from what we invest. Meaning, so the, the time and energy you put into something, um, that's what you're, you're going to you're going to reap what you sow. So the, if, you, if you're going to, if, if I wanted to be great at basketball, like like from an early age, I knew I had to put a lot of time and effort into it. I had to I had to really work at it. And so I would spend countless hours perfecting my craft and, and working on my skills. So every single day I would do that. So I was putting the time and the energy into that. And now you see I'm a professional basketball player. And um, I say that to say you, everybody in here has a certain thing you're passionate about. And I, I was blessed to find mine at an early age, to find out that um, you know basketball was something I, I love to do. And not only did I love it, but I was good at it. So everybody in here has something that they're passionate about. But what you have to do is you have to figure out where that passion and that gift means. Because everybody also has God-given talents, God-given gifts. So each of you have that gift. But you have to find where it meets it with that passion and what you love to do. And once those two things meet, then the sky's the limit for you. So that's just something I want to leave you guys with. That's pretty much all I got. <laughs> but I want to open it for questions. If anybody has questions, anything that cross your mind, let me know. We can talk about it. And don't be afraid if you don't feel like your, your English is that good. Just think about how bad my German is. <laughs> So um, we already had that it was um, convincing for you to decide to come to Germany. So what was the precise factor that you said, okay, yes, let's try it. That's a great question. She um, <laughs> um, asked. Yeah. Was the decisive factor for me really coming here, and that was sitting down, having a conversation with coach. And um, I'm always a believer in, you know, dealing with good people. You know, you want to, you want to always deal with good people. And that's the thing I sensed in coach when we sat down. He uh, met me in Vegas. I was actually at NBA, in, in the NBA summer league, playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And uh, we sat down, we had a conversation, and I could just tell he was a genuine guy, and that meant a lot to me. Um, and you want, you want to deal with genuine people. So since I came here, he's uh, lived up to everything he, he promised me and said he would do. So that's what was the deciding factor of becoming. So do you have a role model on a drop field? Great question. <laughs> um, <laughs> on, on the court, I would say somebody I strive to be like. There's so many great players that I look up to. I try to, I don't have just one player I would say that I want to be like. I try to steal stuff from everybody's game. I try to steal something from Steph Curry. I try to steal something from Kyrie. But mostly point guards are uh, in the NBA that I try to steal from their game. But off the court, um, I would say my role model of life, the only person I strive to be like is Jesus Christ. I would say that's my role model. How is the image of the German basketball in the US? How is the image? 
the image. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's, it's, it's very great. I mean, I, I, I like it a lot. Um, compared to college, um, in the ACC at Louisville last year, I played with some really great athletes. And uh, and so the physicality, I, I would say, for the for the pro game in Germany, I would say it's more physical. And uh, But it's left that as athletic as it was in it, less athletic as it was mm -hmm. in the ACC, but there's um, there's more, you can tell the mental game is very strong here, and there's players who play with so much experience, but it's, it's the pro level, so I mean, it's hard to compare it to, it's my first year, so uh, I can only compare it to college, but uh, it's very, skill level is high. Okay. Last week we played uh, in Oldenburg, and there was a rookie holding day. Yeah. Uh, what needs to happen uh, that we can celebrate uh, trade movies? <laughs> 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 uh, that was awesome to be a part of the scene where you fought. I got to actually meet him and talk to him during the All-Star break. And that was great just to uh, get to pick his mind. And you know, he actually loves it here. And I can see why. I mean, Germany is a great place to be. Um, as far as me, I, I'm just uh, taking it one day at a time. <laughs> Yeah, is there a lot of trash talk in, in, in basketball? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of trash talking everywhere, every sport, but luckily for me, you know, here I can't understand a lot of it, so <laughs> just say it online. But no, it's, it's trash talking, it's, it's a part of the game, it's fun. Do you have one experience of it? Or oh yeah, me and Andy one? just got into it last practice. <laughs> 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 that's, that's just how it is. You're, you're a competitor. Um, when you're on inside the court you, and you're going at um, your, your, your opponent or your teammates and you're competing, that, those type of things happen. But as soon as you walk off the court, we're best, we're best friends, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect you off the court.